Rottweilers and Pitbull Terriers. Both the dogs are two of the most popular dog breeds on the planet. They are mainly known for their loyalty, their guarding ability, their super strength and not to mention their bad reputation, especially in the case of Pitbull Terriers. Now, what if a Rottweiler and a Pitbull Terrier are crossbred together? Ladies and gentlemen, meet the Pitweiler. Pitweilers are also known as Rot Bulls or uh, Rotty Pits and Rotten Bulls. So, so many names but the same dog. Pitweilers inherit some of the best traits from both of their parents. They are known for being loyal, protective and affectionate towards their owner. And they are highly trainable dogs. Yes, some individuals might develop aggressive behavior towards strangers or other pets and animals because of their natural protective instinct or due to the genetics of the parents, you know, the Rottweiler and Pitbull Terrier. But this all can be managed by proper training and socialization from an early age. As I mentioned earlier, they are highly trainable dogs, so training them wouldn't be a problem at all. But at the end, it all depends upon how consistent and disciplined the owner is with training. Pitfallers are medium to large size dogs and can weigh between 50 to 100 pounds. Generally, they have a muscular build with a broad head and strong jaws like a Rottweiler, but some of the individuals might have an athletic and lean muscular body similar to a Pitbull Terrier. Pitfallers are highly energetic dog breed. Well, they're not a breed of course, they're known as designer dogs. But whatever it is, they need regular exercise to maintain a healthy body. And if the owner is unable to provide them proper physical and mental exercise, then the pitwaller might become bored or destructive. And believe me, you would never want a destructive dog in your house. Now, Pitbull Terriers and Rottweilers. Both the dog breeds are not recommended for the first time owners with small children. And the same goes with the Pitwallers as well. If you're a first time dog owner and have a small children, then Pitwallers wouldn't be a great choice for you. The reason for this is because owning a pet dog for the first time is a big, big responsibility. You're gonna experience new situations and conditions with your dog almost every day. And uh, a few small mistakes by you might end up turning your dog more aggressive, which you would never want. So that's why new owners are recommended to own an easygoing and playful and friendly family dog breed which are much easier to handle compared to some other dog breeds that are not recommended for the first time owners. Now if you're thinking about getting a Pitweiler then there are hundreds of them out there in dog shelters waiting for someone to adopt them and take them home. So if you want one you can check out the nearest dog shelter and uh, yeah, adopt a dog, because adopting is much better than buying one, you know? So that's it for today for the Pitwallers and uh, if you have any questions related to dogs, you can ask me in the comment section below, I'll try to answer it. And uh, yeah, if you like these type of dog related content, then a subscribe to this channel would be great. So I'll see you at the next one, till then, peace out.